Pat, we have a Patreon. Why don't you tell the folks at home about the Patreon? Well, Ian, at the Patreon, you give us money for stuff, right? Is that how it works? More or less. Uh, it's patreon.com slash CU podcast. Ian has a weekly writing there, a monthly hangout, and you can vote on the weekly Patreon poll. Maybe we should bring back the uh, the, the voicemail thing. That could be fun. I mean, a, no, you that was know. a horrible idea that never maybe not worked. A, maybe not a question answer, but just like get a comment in. Uh, sure. A, a short comment like the you know, radio shows do the call in hotline thing. Yeah. Uh, anyway, in third place at 17%, what's the dream convention panel you would l- want to see? Oof. 25% second place, what pinball slash arcade games would be in your dream arcade? Just hang on. And number one, 58% strong, Halloween K debate 2019. We haven't done this in a couple of years at least. So it seems like I don't know what the debate is here. I guess just discussion. Yeah. So uh, I am going to plug my other podcast, Extra Napkins, where we do a whole episode on this. Um, wow, Ian. Okay. A whole episode. Submarine the 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 topic. Um, but uh, I, as, as time has gone on, I uh, my, my, I'm going to sum this up. This is how I feel about Halloween candy. Kit Kats are my favorite, and Reese's peanut butter cups and Skittles used to be in that top. That, that rarefied air, but changes to them over the years have uh, totally uh, just, I, I'm disinterested. What, they, they haven't changed the peanut butter taste? They definitely made them smaller. They made, the, they made them smaller, peanut butter cups. It's it's the size, it's the ratio of peanut butter to chocolate, but the chocolate itself Tastes different? just seems like it's trash. Either that or there's a freshness when it comes to a peanut butter cup. True. Uh, a very fresh peanut butter cup. The chocolate has a little shine to it. You can almost snap the peanut butter cup. The True. peanut butter is extra creamy. It's like an enamel. The chocolate, ha- <laughs> the chocolate melts, but it's not. It's not like a. It's not a mush. Peanut butter cups, as they get older, the difference in the texture between the peanut butter and the chocolate, um, it, it 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 becomes. It just. It's it, it's like eating a puck of mush. Like have them, they started using less uh, less chocolate in a peanut butter cup? No, the I, layer's been different. At least be a thicker layer. I think they're using more chocolate in the small ones now, and it's a shittier chocolate. So when you eat them, what's going one, on? I shit? can't tell the difference between the the, the the difference between the peanut butter and the chocolate becomes harder to differentiate between. Um, the texture is all wrong, and it, it, it's a shame because ideally a peanut butter cup is one of the finest candies on the planet, but it's oh. just bad. It's not I'm, good. It's not. It's. It's. They're not good anymore. So I mean, I would. I. I. I, st- I still think they're good. I still think they're good. I do agree with you though that it, it has changed. They've definitely in- decreased in size by about by about twenty five percent the the diameter. Well, well, so so you 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 can still if you look hard enough you can find the fuller size ones. But most of the ones that you get for Halloween, they're. I, the single I, size ones. I, they're I swear smaller. They're, I swear they're specifically manufactured for it. And yeah, you're not getting the tiny little button ones. Those are those suck. The tiny button oh, ones. No, no, but those are different. But, I don't even. Those no, are peanut butter cups. But but you're. But yeah, the, the they're the, small. The single ones are. They are a smaller diameter than what they used. Singles to be. used to be just half of a regular package. It used to just be one peanut butter cup yes. instead of two. Now it's a smaller peanut butter cup. Now now it's a dwarf peanut butter cup you're getting. Because you used to be able not to put one in your mouth, at least for me. Now, now it's hard to do that. It's mushy dog shit. Uh, however, though, Ian, this is getting into Easter candy. The 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 Easter egg peanut butter cup shape that still tastes the same to me. Oh yeah, no, it's it's so that's different to me. It's fine, and you can get, and, and, and the Christmas tree. Don't that forget they the Halloween pumpkin. And the, that's they're, new. That's they're, new they're, with the Halloween pumpkin. Those have been around forever. Really? Ever since I was a kid. Why would you go for that though? When there's regular peanut butter cup for Halloween candy. Well, no. The question is why you should be going for the pumpkin and not but, for well, the regular. The point peanut is this, though: those because to me have, those are good. Those, those have, have always a proper tasted, ratio. Those always tasted the same, though, since I was a kid. Especially the Easter egg one. It was yeah. only as a kid there was only the Easter egg one, right? And then there was also the uh, the tree. Well, it goes back to the freshness as well. I'm not so much that sure, certain that things have changed, but when, when are we getting are we getting old peanut butter cup ingredients on these little singles? Maybe it's possible because Her- the singles. Hershey's. Are, what are you the doing? The singles are not themed. Not always. The individual, the the Christmas trees, the Easter eggs, the pumpkins, um, those are themed. So chances are highly likely you know you're getting them from a set production period. You're getting a fresh pumpkin because it's it's, it, only, it's, it's only done for that. Yeah, batch. you're getting a fresh egg because it's seasonal. I think we're getting old ingredients on these on these dwarf peanut butter cups. It's I, think, I think that's what just happened. They're leaving they're leaving their uh, the good stuff for the full size ones they charge two dollars for, or the king size was it king size five of them or whatever the fuck it is. Bobby across the street used to get the king size one. He never let me have one. 
But peanut butter cups are too touchy. They're, they're a very touchy candy, and as I've gotten older, I realize I only want the most perfect peanut butter cups. So and, you, uh, you don't want to deal with the mini little, little, no, little those are, those ridge are ones? those fucking awful. I don't think they're that bad. Put them they, in a, they, they taste closer to the, the seasonal ones. Chop them up and put them on top of a sundae or put them in a cookie or something. We're good, but I don't. They're, they're not. They're not good for standalone eating. Okay, this is turning this into a peanut butter cup That's, conversation, which is fine because it's a, it's one of the best candies ever and created. Um, um, I, I'm pretty much a chocolate, except for Skittles and Starburst for for my sure. fruit, fruit candies. That's pretty much where I lie uh, on my Halloween candy. And that's historically how I've been. I do not eat enough Starburst in my life. Whenever I have a Starburst again, I'm like, this is the best thing ever. Starbursts are delicious. A lemon so Starburst is a, is a magical thing. Any of them, though. Sure. Because the, the, there's like real juice in there. It could be only 3%, but there's like real juice inside of there. They're always fresh. There's never, never a dry Starburst no. after you put it in your mouth. Skittles are always good. Um, so that's it for... That's really it to me for fruit candies. I hate... I don't like licorice that much. I see, I'm a big nerds fan. It gives me nerds are okay. I'll give you nerds. Nerds are good in moderation. If you're into the sugar rush, they're fine. Um, I used to be a big Jolly Rancher kid, but I I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't do that anymore. Me, I freaking loved Jolly Rancher. I can't as do it anymore. Kid. I grew out of it. It's not so much that they're too sweet. They're the, too sweet for me. The taste aside, it's the the texture. It's how sticky they are and how jaw clenching. Like it's all that. It's just corn syrup. It's just well, of course it is. It's the yeah. worst thing for you. It like I, I don't like how they make my mouth feel after I eat one. Like ass. It, it it's just <laughs> it's this, like a war zone in your mouth. Yeah, it, it's just this sticky tar covered fucking <laughs> nightmare, and I have to scrub my teeth for eight years to get it out of there. I yeah, I can't do Jolly Ranchers anymore, which is a shame because uh, I really loved the old timey, not even the tiny ones, but the bars. Like the Jolly Rancher. They still bars. make the bars? Yeah, you can still find them. Like that? They're like four or five inches? Yeah, it's like a sucker without a stick. It's like, you know, they were like a fucking okay. nickel or a quarter. I, I, I like those. I take it back about the. Fr it's not really fruit flavored. Dum Dum Pops, that's not really fruit flavored. Then they have some. And, and, um, and, uh, Blow Pops are great. Bl Blow Pops are always good. I like Tootsie Pops too. I can't stand Tootsie Roll Pops. Really? Because I'm reminded of a Blow Pop and I'd rather have the gum than a Tootsie Roll. Mm, see, I don't, I don't mind Tootsie Rolls. I was, I was, Tootsie Rolls, Tootsie Rolls to me were like, whenever you're sorting out your Halloween candy, you dump out the pillowcase, you couldn't see how many Tootsie Rolls you had because they're so tiny, the little guys. Sure. Sometimes you get like the, what, the, the, the full like one inch ones. Usually you get the little, you know, half inch ones, right? Or now they're probably like a third of an inch. Toss in the bottom. They're like bonus candy, right? Right. You never, you never really want to ask for, or you never really want Tootsie Rolls when you go, when you go trick or treating, but it's a nice little bonus. Throw me a handful and I'm good, right? That's how I was. I like Tootsie Rolls. Yeah, but not the Tootsie Roll pop. I I never liked the the combination of like a cherry pop with a Tootsie Roll. Ah, see, I love that. No, I never was into that. They still make them, right? Tootsie Roll pops. Oh yeah, they still. And, oh, yeah, I still buy them every once in a blue moon. But let's let's, let's get on the main event. The main event is chocolate. And by the way, go 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 fuck yourself if you like candy corn. Uh, candy corn is awful. And or, or or even worse than you know what? I'll, I'll give you a little bit of candy corn. Circus peanuts. I never understood the appeal of circus peanuts. And people would give those to me at Halloween. Sure I've never once well. received a circus peanut for Halloween, but I would be very upset if I did. First of all, they're not usually individually wrapped. They're just like loose yeah. circus peanuts. I know where your grubby hands have been, 85-year-old woman down the block. I'm not going to deal with that, first of all. I'd rather, I'd rather you give me the, the Charleston Chew that you ate in 1940s that no one has eaten in the last 50 years. They somehow still make Charleston Chews. Who eats, a che who eats Charleston Chews? Charleston Chews are delicious. All who eats that flavors. crap? Vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. They're all good. How do you chew a Charleston Chew? Slowly. How do you do it? Slowly. So it's just a, why it's hard, called a chew. A hard caramel, like 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 shield. It's more of a nougat taffy type of deal. Uh, wh whatever it is, it's awful. I'm sorry, the Charleston <laughs> chew. Can't do a Charleston chew. Um, yeah, uh, candy corn gives, gives me a headache. I did as a kid. I eat like a little bit. It would give me a headache for some reason. I think the fact that it was just pure corn syrup, my I just couldn't process it. I always no like, sugar. I'll just corn syrup. Around Halloween, they make um the, like the I haven't had one in ages, ones. but they made the pumpkin shape yeah. ones. I liked those. I don't know why I, they were slightly wider and fatter, so the consistency was slightly different. I, I, I just, enjoyed them. They gave me headaches. I can't explain it. And, and, and again, candy corn was usually loose out of your fucking hand. They did make individually wrapped little bags. Yeah, but from when the I was my the, little, the little condom sized yeah, packets yeah. of candy corn. Yeah, get out of here. I, I know it's the cheapest candy, Grandma. It's usually the older women that get that out. Get out of here. Give me, give me a fun size Snickers or something. And I'll tell you what about the fun size bars. They're they're, they're not fun size anymore. 
The, talk about drop. You think that you think the peanut butter cups got smaller? The fun size used to be like half a Snickers bar. Now they're like like barely two of like the the bite size Snickers. I was gonna say it's amusing because they they they're they're just slightly bigger than the bite size. Yes. One. It's like they just took the bite size one, but made it rectangle shape instead. Fun size candy bars used to be fun. They're not anymore. <laughs> They're no longer fun. You got to eat three of them to make up what they used to be. And of course, Milky Ways and three Musketeer bars. You get the trifecta. I am not a hardcore Milky Ways suck because Snickers exist. And why, why have a Milky Way when you have a Snickers? I'm not like that. I understand that everyone likes I think peanuts. A mil- I, think a, I, I like peanuts, but I think a Milky Way it's has, fine. It has a perfectly valid reason for existing. It, it does, but I'm never going to have a Milky Way over over uh, a Snickers. What about a Milky Way Dark? Never had one. Oh my God, they're so fucking good. Well, dark chocolate's dark chocolate's the key to life because it's actually it's, healthy. So it's, it's 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 vanilla nougat instead of like this like it's like a very like bright white like very vanilla y nougat with okay. caramel and then dark chocolate. They're they're phenomenal. Now three musketeers I think are underrated. Three three musketeers is like a palate cleanser of chocolate. Smooth, I like I like a three musketeers lighter chocolate, not too heavy. I like one. It's a nice palate cleanser there. I uh, I like them. Um, my the the one that I would never eat that I, I hate when I get it in my bag is um, Baby Ruth. Baby Ruths are rough. I don't like Baby Ruth at all. Baby Ruths are a little rough. Um, I can eat a Baby Ruth. Butterfingers, I eat, then I'll regret them because they're in my teeth for the next five days. I love Butterfingers. They're I just don't like the aftermath of a Butterfinger. The aftermath is, is Captain Easy. That's the aftermath of Butterfingers. The aftermath. It's the only that. candy that somehow... Your body has problems chewing and digesting. Like your saliva c- does not take that out of your teeth. It's just stuck in there forever. Yeah. It just is. Now, I will say this. you I cannot eat a full Butterfinger because at that point, my teeth would be encrusted with it. I wouldn't be able to chew through oh, it. No, 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 you got to do a bite size. A that, little, that is, that yeah, is actually size. a problem that no. uh, I, I have. Like if you eat a full Butterfinger, you, you realize that your teeth are working less effectively yes. about 33% of the yes. way through because they're coated in this shit. <laughs> You have to brush your teeth halfway through. We didn't brought up Twix bars, Ian. I love a Twix. Why? Ha- why has the peanut butter Twix died out? Uh, it, why is it? It's, it's not dead, dead. But why is it not in favor anymore? Why is it not advertised? Why is it harder to buy? I don't know. I, I, in the eighties, we were kids. It was half and half: ca- caramel yep. and peanut butter. They were both advertised heavily. Then in the nineties, peanut butter disappeared almost entirely, what? if not completely. What and the then, hell? And then they brought it back, and now you can still find it. But yeah, they don't. Uh, they don't tout it very, very much. I don't see it when I go out. Do I have to look for harder for it? Uh, I haven't looked for To be fair, I haven't looked for a peanut butter Twix in a while, but I feel like they're still out there. What's going on? What's go- who makes- but that is easily the better of the two Twix. Is that bars. Mars? Is that Mars making that? I love a caramel Twix as well, but a, a peanut butter Twix is, is very special. Oh, yeah, it's Mars. Anyway, that's a, that's, a, that's a shame. And then we can get into, like, you know, the, the stuff that's died out, like uh, goobers and malt balls, which I, I don't like that stuff at all. Not into the malt stuff. Malt balls are really good if you get yep. a good one. The problem is most of them, especially Whoppers, are dipped in the waxiest shit fake chocolate you can get. What's the difference between a goober and a Whopper? A goober is a peanut butter, is a, is a peanut. Oh, it's a peanut? A goober is a chocolate covered peanut. Oh, I never had a, a goober ra- then. A raisinette is Nestle. a- Nestle, okay. A raisinette is I a- I a raisin. I think you were thinking of Milk Duds. Oh, I, mean, I was thinking of Milk Duds. Chocolate covered caramels. I thought Milk Duds was, was, was malt. No? No, Whoppers are malt. Just Whoppers, okay. Just Whoppers. Okay, I don't and like they, Whoppers. they are coated in absolute dog shit it, it's chocolate. It's in filth. I like Raisinets. I, like I love ch- Raisinets. I like, I like chocolate-covered raisins. They're not healthy at all. I'll eat a yogurt-covered raisin, the, too. And get, those aren't healthy did you, either. Did you get little boxes of raisins sometimes from creating? I did. Yeah, and I'd eat them. I'd eat them. It's, they're not healthy. It's just sugar. It was a fucking free snack that I controlled. <laughs> that, you that, could... that was my snack bag. So how, I took it. how often did it take, or how long did it take you to eat through your Halloween candy? Two weeks? Month? Honestly, what? as mu- as much as I love candy uh, i would often not finish it it would get to the point where it just sat there for so long i'd be like eh. I, pa- I would get through most of it i mean my I, parents should have taken away from me and rationed it they I, didn't i would say probably two to three weeks maybe a month I, there were definitely no ends of november's where i still uh, had halloween candy well we were the hardcore though so we had we were like two pillowcases full so it was sure. way too much for thick but quick chubby little pat way too much candy and i would probably eat three to five pieces a day it was probably too much probably you want to do one to two pieces a day or maybe like you know, just a, the mini bag of Skittles and maybe like a you know a piece of chocolate, 
uh, right there. We missed out on any, any big ones to forget? No, I think those are the main the main ones. Fifth Avenue bar? Never really got that that much. That was a rare one to get the Fifth Avenue bar. Yeah, it was usually like a... Because there was no fun stuff. size Fifth Avenue, right? There was a full no, one. The, no, there was. There was? Yeah, they just it was it was Hershey's, so it was a different shape, different size. And then I forget about what the... Uh, Chunkies were great. Chunkies are still around. I love a Chunkie. Chunkies don't get enough love out there. Nuts, They're, raisins, chocolate, the, delicious. Just like the Cadbury one, the same, the same sort of ball. That like, fruit and nut bar. Fruit and nut bar. It's like the best combination ever. The one thing I always forget about, what was the the, the chocolate-filled rolling... Rolo thing? Not Rolo. What the hell was the, was the peanut butter-filled uh, treat that was not a bar? It was in a roll with nuggets, uh, like nuts on the outside of it. You know what I'm talking about? What the hell was that? Uh, I don't think it exists anymore. Chocolate, peanut butter. Oh, I yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I don't remember what they were called. The Funked Bar. That's that. I always forget about that one, what, what that was back in the day. Or maybe I'm, I'm con confusing two different candies. I think you are. Like confusing two different candies? Yes. Confusing Chunky with something else? Now, anyway. there, was a, there was a peanut butter filled chocolate bar. I forget what it was called, um, but they 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 think it's not on the market anymore because it killed people because it was too because <laughs> it was pure peanut butter inside a chocolate bar. You remember that? Mm, it was in the nineties. I don't. It was like a caramello kind of, but it was for. I uh, mean, it sounds delicious. Butter. Anyway, sorry. It was not a hundred grand bar. That was something else. No, hundred grands are delicious. That's, every, that's almost caramel, every caramel crisp rice milk chocolate. I heard recently that that they don't make Nestle Crunches full size in the U.S. anymore. It's a Canadian only thing. I heard that nasty rumor, and we and Nestle crunches, uh, the fun size were fantastic. The two. Hmm. I'll have to look and check that out because I'm not. I never. I ne now. I never craved a full Nestle Crunch bar. The fun size were good enough for me. The, you know, two things you broke them in half. Right. They were always, always fun for me. All right. So that's it. Ian's got to call his, his uh, lift. Right. He's got to go to work. Got to go to work. But thanks for the Patreon work to work. That that's that seemed like we could go on, go on another ten minutes. We, that was our crash course can debate. Uh. So I, I'm sorry the peanut butter cup. Uh. The quality has gone down. That's very disappointing. It is. What, what are we doing, Hershey's? What, what are we doing? You're, you're sitting on a gold mine. Let's get the quality back up there. Come on. Let's do it. Oh. York peppermint patty is always good. Nice palate cleanser. Hey, we can agree on that. You can't always overdo a York peppermint pe patty. Uh, mini Most people hate them. Toothpaste, no. toothpaste dipped in chocolate, but I love them. It's a, a, I can't have a full one, probably. I, I gotta do the mini one. I can't do the full one. I love that feeling. Of a York peppermint patty. It's like your your alpine skiing. Those commercials were funny. Candy commercials were great back in the eighties, nineties. I don't know they still have them anymore. Let's just sell chocolate with all the five year olds and get them fat. It's, it's fantastic. <laughs> Whichever way we can do it. 